संसार से क्या Om Shanti. Good morning to everyone. Today we will revise Baba's yesterday's Murli. Uh, before that, let me share one experience. Uh, yesterday, uh, before uh, Baba conducting the Murli, uh, I had a conversation with Baba. And I was telling to Baba that Baba, uh, this time you conduct Murli a very easy way, means you speak a very easy words, uh, what I can read in English and I understand because Baba, do you know this time I'm going to read Murli, conduct Murli in the English, what you will uh, conduct that Murli. And uh, uh, when uh, Murli has started and uh, in the initial phase only, Baba reminded me that I'm just instrument, right? Karanhar and Baba is the Karamanhar. And uh, Baba said that if really we want to success in the seva service, then we have to keep this awareness that I'm instrument. Everything is doing Baba. Baba is doing his task. 
through the us. So I felt in that first phase only that how Papa is making me capable to do service in the different language. Uh, Papa is saying that you are just instrument, go ahead. And I felt very nice, very happy. And in this way also, we understand, we experience Baba's love in very small, small task actions. Baba gives us experience of love. And also Baba reminded yesterday that we everyone have love for Baba. But how we can show that love, that method Baba has explained in this movie. And also Baba given very beautiful homework. When I was listening to Baba yesterday, I felt that Baba is the supreme psychologist who, know, who knows that how Baba can make us very capable, very powerful. So Baba yesterday emphasized that we how to get that control on our mind, that what we ask to make a thoughts, to create thoughts, our mind should create those thoughts. And also Baba emphasized that how much time we want to stay in that thought, we should how to create that powerful stage because in coming time, that stage will help us to see the, of real in the world. And that stage will definitely help us to connect with the Baba. So that we also Baba emphasized and Baba said that Baba wanted that gift from us that we should make our mind very powerful. And also Baba emphasized the aspect of Murli. Baba said each and every Baba child should pay so much attention on the Murli. And uh, while listening to Baba, I felt that if we children really understand Baba's Murli very well, and if we work to imbibe only one Murli, then also we will become to Baba, right? Because everything Baba explains in the Murli. Because Murli is the one way, beautiful way through which we have conversation with Baba. We get answers of the many, many questions. Whatever come in our mind, like I said, uh, I was having conversation with Baba and I was telling to Baba. And in the Murli only, Baba has given me answer that don't worry, Bachi, you are just instrument. Everything is doing Baba only. So Murli makes us very capable, gives us deep insight. And also uh, initially uh, when anyone understand knowledge or do the course, that time might be they don't have that much uh, depth that here we have to, uh, we have to see ourselves. We have to pay attention on the self, but Murli makes us capable in the spiritual world. We have to pay attention on the subject of I, subject of self. So I feel that Baba is making us very powerful through this Murli. So now I'm going to read that Murli. Actual Murli date is 18 January, 2011. And that Murli is a little longer around six pages, but I'm going to read that much part what yesterday Baba has conducted, okay? So let me share the Murli. So here I have highlighted that part the yellow color. So Baba said, experience the pleasure of the stage of liberation in life, like father, 
Brahma while living this life. Give the gift of love of becoming, becoming a conqueror of the mind and therefore a conqueror of the world. Today is the special day of remembrance of Father Brahma, of when he became a vet. Love for Father Brahma is merged in the eyes of all the children. Today, from even before 4 a.m., the children's love reached the subtle region, celebrating a meeting with Father Brahma. Symbols of love, signs of love, from the heart reached the Father Brahma as a garland. The love of the children is merged in the fragrance of each garland. Each and every child's eyes and smile spoke of matters of the heart. Father Brahma was also giving the return of the love to each one. The father saw that even now, each child is giving the love of his heart through the language of the eyes. God's love makes each child easily belong to the Father. So we all have experienced that many times we feel Baba's love through the Baba's eyes when so many things going in our mind and we just go in front of the Baba's picture, Baba's room, we feel that Baba's love and we get very uh, silence and we forget all those things, right? So here also Baba reminding that each child is giving the love of his heart through the language of the eyes. God's love makes each child easily belong to the father. This alaukic spiritual love makes him belong to you through the experience that Baba is mine, Mira Baba. Because the children said, my Baba. This love makes you the masters of the father's stages. So here, Baba is explaining the technique that how we can become the masters of the father's stages. Just when we speak, by heart, through the heart, that Baba is mine. Mira Baba, then we become the masters of the father's stages. As soon as you say, my Baba, you become a master of all the treasures. This love makes you forget the consciousness of the body in a second and makes you soul conscious. Nothing other than the father attracts the soul. This day has great importance. It is not just the day of remembrance, but it is the day of power because on this day, the father himself became the one who gets things done is Karavan Har and gave the children the tilak of being the doers, Karan Har, for world service. The son who shows father was made into the instrument to do the task. He himself became Karavan Har and made the children for there to be success in service. The means of success in service is to have the awareness that I am a Karanhar and Karavanhar is making me do everything. Baba Singh, the means of success in service is to have the awareness of that, that I am a Karanhar and Karavanhar is making me to everything. This awareness 
is essential because you had the awareness of I, which brought you into body consciousness for 63 parts. Karavan heart is making me the awareness, making me to everything. I'm Karan heart, an instrument with this awareness, considering yourself an instrument, body consciousness finishes. We everyone have aimed that to finish the body consciousness. So here Baba is saying that you keep awareness that I am an instrument. This is why he made the children Karan Han and he himself became Karavan Har. When you are Karan Har, you automatically become an instrument and humble. Even now, because Bhaktata made the children instruments for service. The father saw that the fruit of service in the form of success is sparkling on the foreheads of the servers, the stars. So to get many divine qualities, Yababa is saying that you just keep the awareness that I am the Karan Har and Karavan Har is Baba. Then we will become the very humble and we get that power also to do Seva. This is why he made the children Karan Har and he himself became Karavan Har. When you are Karan Har, you automatically become an instrument and humble. Even now, because Bab Dada made the children instruments for service. The father saw that the fruit of service in the form of success is sparkling on the foreheads of the servers, the stars. Bab Dada is pleased to see the service of the majority of the children. And this is why Father Brahma especially congratulating such children and saying, Va children, Va. Father Brahma was specially happy and congratulating them for becoming instruments for service and moving service forward. Father Brahma is even now signaling the children to adopt the angelic stage like him. Bab Dada saw that the children are paying attention. Father Brahma was constantly liberated in life, although still having such a big responsibility to look after such a big family to make everyone have a yogi life, to look after the responsibility of so much service, to constantly enable everyone to move forward in service. While having all these responsibilities, he still experienced the pleasure of liberation in life. While having all these responsibilities, he still experienced the pleasure of liberation in life. This is why on the path of the ocean, Brahma has been shown on a lotus seat. He became liberated in life and experienced the pleasure of liberation in life at this time. And he made all of you children, the same too. Even now, he is showing you children various methods to make you angelic and wants you to become the same 
as himself. Baap Dada saw that each child has a good aim. What do you say when anyone asks you what your aim is? Do you remember what you say? That you definitely will become equal to the father. In what way will you become equal to the father? In this life, you will become a sample of a life of liberation. Life of liberation in life. Bab Dada saw that you do pay attention to the homework that you are given. You have those experiences, but you do not do it all the time. Regarding the work, you have just been given. Baba received a report that some children made effort and paid attention every month. Some zones have reported a good result for one month. Bab Dada says, Why children ba to the zones who have sent their report? and congratulates them. What does Bab Dada want now? Though you stay all right, all right sometimes. Though you stay all right sometimes. Now Bab Dada wants every child to be like this all the time. Hmm? Here Baba emphasizing that we stay all right sometimes. But Bab Dada wants that stage all the time. You have become good yogis, but he now wishes to make you constant yogis. Bab Dada had given children some work. Every hour, create a method to be able to change sometimes into all the time in order to be constant. According to saying those, according to the saying, those who conquer their minds, conquer the world. Manjite Shakanshi. Bab Dada now wants your mind to have only the thoughts that you ask it to have. Why? All your physical senses do what you want when you want to they not all your physical senses do what you want when you want do they not in the same way your mind should also only do what you order it to do you practice this but sometimes you don't practice this so here Baba is explaining that how we have mastery on the physical senses. When we want to raise our hands, we raise our hands. When we want to walk, when we want to sit, that time, whatever we want, we do through the physical senses. Same way, Baba is saying that you should have that much mastery on your mind, that what thoughts you ask to your mind to create, that thought only create your mind. Mind should create, right? Bab Dada now wants you make you control your mind as you want using the rings of the powers. To whom does the praise? Those who have conquered their mind, how conquered the world belongs. It is the praise of you children because you achieved this every cycle. There is a praise. You see that all your physical senses belong to you. In the same way, you also see that your mind belongs to you. To say that it is yours means you are its master. Whatever thought you wish to have in your mind and for 
However long you wish it to be there, your mind is bound to do that because it is your mind. So here Baba is reminding that I am the master of my mind. So when we'll, we will keep this awareness that I am the master of my mind, then what we wish, it will become true. So on this day of love, Bab Tada wishes to give you this homework. Only create the thought that you wish to have. If you wish to have your thoughts, then if any best thoughts arise, your pure thoughts should finish them. If you wish to have yoga, but due to your son's cars, best thoughts arise instead. Or if you are not successful in having yoga, you need to develop this control. If you wish to have yoga for one hour, your mind should not disturb you. The soul is the master. The mind is not the master. The mind is the companion of the soul. So, order your companion with love. Become a conqueror of the mind. Pap Dada receives news from many children that they have waste thoughts from time to time. You have waste thoughts even against your wish. Would you call this being a master? Hmm? Baba is saying that if you have waste thoughts against your wish, then would you call this being a master? You have love for Father Brahma, do you not? So today, When you have love, what would you give? A gift is given, isn't it? So today, Father Brahma is asking your children to give this gift, to give this gift. Are you ready? Are you ready? Raise your hands. If from today, you are given the instruction not to allow any waste thoughts to come. Would you be able to do that? Today, are you able to perform actions while in a stage of yoga? And also have yoga for two or four hours. Can you do this? Will you do it? Okay. Now let the past be the past. Now order your mind from today to put a full stop to all waste thoughts. You will have to do it. Will you not? Today, keep this aim in yoga and you will then how to make effort according to that throughout the day, will you not? So, Baba is saying that we should keep attention on this aspect and we will get that stage. Out of love for the father, you will have to do what the father says. The method to finish all waste thoughts is to remember Brahma Baba's love in your heart. Very beautiful huh? fact Baba is giving here. Baba is saying that if we want to finish waste thoughts, then Baba is saying that just remember Brahma Baba's love in your heart. Whether or not you saw him 
in the corporeal form. All of you have seen him with the power of the intellect. Have you not? Have you seen him or not? Those of you who say that you have seen Papa's love and who have seen the sustenance of Father Brahma, are you moving forward according to that? If so, raise your hands. We all so much experience that. We never feel that we are not seen Papa in the corporeal form. But in the certain way also, Papa is giving us such a wonderful sustenance, such loving sustenance, that we never feel that we have not seen Papa. But every time we feel that deep connection with the Papa and also the very beautiful loving sustenance of the Papa, like Baba is in the Baba is in front of us in the corporeal form only many times we experience right so baba is here uh, emphasizing on that part baba is saying that if so raise your hands Achha. you have pleased baba by raising your hand Dada is pleased that at least you have had that courage however when you lose courage, always remember your relationships with the father. How many relationships are there? Sometimes he is the father. Sometimes he even becomes a child. Sometimes he is the father. And sometimes he even becomes your friend. Either remember the relationship or the attainments. So whenever we feel lacking something, huh, we are losing courage, then Baba is saying, just remember the relationships, what we are having with the Papa or else attainments. Remember the attainments and the relationships. Just as you are remembering that in your heart today, are you not? If you remember, in this way, you will develop love. Even today, all of you are experiencing Father Brahma's love in your hearts, are you not? Whenever something is not right, then remember the relationships and the attainments. The Father cooperates with every child all you have to do is to remember him. Hmm? Baba is saying that Baba cooperates each and every child, but we have to remember Papa. Have you understood what you have to do today? Become the embodiment of the praise. Those who conquer the mind are conquerors of the world. Control your mind with your orders. Now, because you have left it a little free, it does its own work. Now pay attention. Your mind has to work under your orders, not that you act under the orders of your mind, but mind should work in our control. You wish to contemplate upon matters of knowledge, but instead useless thoughts arise in your mind. So what happened? Is your mind the master or are you the master? Has everyone un understood the homework? So this uh -huh, homework is giving to us, Sava is giving to us. You have to conquer your mind, whatever you order, it will obey that. It will definitely obey that. All you have to do is to pay attention. Mothers and teachers, is this possible? Is this possible? Teachers, raise your hands. 
teachers are raising their hands. If you think this is possible, then wave your hands. At least those sitting in the first row, wave your hands. Brothers, wave your hands. Wow. It means you have given Father Brahma the gift of love. Congratulations for that. Congratulations. It is good. Love for Bab Dada gives a lot of cooperation. When you say, my Baba, from your heart, when you say, my Baba, then who is I? The fathers, long lost and now found child. How many times do all of you say my Baba? How many times do you say Mera Baba? The father hears it and notes everything. Double foreigners are also listening, are they not? Pap Dada saw that. Double foreigners have been present for the full season. Now, Pap Dada will continue to look at the results. And all of you should also continue to look at your results as a detached observers. No, Baba is having meeting with the Maharashtra zone. So this is Maharashtra. It is not those from Maharashtra could be given some great work to do. Would they not? Pap Dada has love for each Bab Dada has love for each zone and always has faith that this child will do exactly what the father has asked. Is it so? Are you all getting uh, my voice? Yes, Prativadan. Those from Maharashtra, raise your hands. There are many. It is three quarters of the class. Each zone follows the instructions of the father. Everyone is nodding. The father also has the faith that my children have faith in their intellect. Pap Dada wants you to use every day's elevated virtues. Murli, as your homework, if your children do what the father asks ask in each day smoothly, then it means you are acting as the father's long lost and now found children, the obedient children. What do you have to do? Read every day smoothly because Bab Dada has seen that the majority of children Love the morally, even if someone doesn't love it. If a child says to Bab Dada, Papa, I love you a lot. But what does the father love? He loves the morally. He comes from so far away to speak the morally. Would there be any other teacher who comes from so far away just to, to teach you since the father loves the Murli. Then those who say, my Baba, and who have love for the Murli, their first love should be for the father's Murli, as well as for the father. Look, Father Brahma did not miss a Murli for even if one day, even when he went to Bombay for one reason or another, he wrote the Morley and Mateshwari would read that Morley. Even on the last day, when his health wasn't so good, he didn't conduct, conduct class 
in the morning but he became a fifth after conducting evening class what did brahma baba love the more those who think that they love papa should also love what the father loved should they not so here baba is saying that if really we are having love for papa then baba is saying that we should have so much love to morley and we should not miss morley even single day also so here baba is explaining baba's practical example how even last day also baba conducted class then baba became the object so what did brahma baba love the morely those who think that they love baba should also love what the father loved should they not this is why the father thinks that you should read the morely or study it in the class if it is not possible and you are not making an excuse but there is a valid reason then get someone to read it to you raise your hands if you feel that you will give that much importance to the morley acha everything is visible from here the father is also seeing all of you sitting at the back now regarding all the children who are personally present here and those who are watching from afar pap dada has heard that a lot of effort was made for the centers in every country to see and listen to baba it doesn't matter what time of the night it may be for some countries they also watch baba this means of science were invented for you and are benefiting you though destruction takes place through science it is for your kingdom to all the lovely children everywhere special love and remembrance accept affection from the heart and lots of love from the heart of father brahma spiritual children says namaste to the to the spiritual pap dada mother and father so now for few minutes we will stay in silence and we will reflect on the today's morning
So we all have the Sun Baba's Murli. So anybody want to share a few points on the basis of today's Murli? You can unmute and share. Om Shanti. Mm. Today, Baba said that you have, uh, since Baba has said in the uh, Murli of the morning time that you have to become perfect. And so, Baba said that you have to become Nirantar Yogis. So, I could relate that th those sentences that yes, if we become Nirantar Yogis, then we will become perfect. And for that, Baba said that you have to read the Murlis property, uh, properly every day. And practice of being in the karma yoga stage and also do yoga for two to four hours. So he has given us this work. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, very good. Yes, anybody else? Om Shanti. Baba has also said that uh, success in service means to have the awareness that I am the Karan Har and he is the Karavan Har. Om Shanti. Yes. Om Shanti. Om Shanti Baba. Baba says that you have to become masters of mind. Now you should make the mind listen to you. So as I was listening to this sister, I was remembering the first chapter that mind, intellect and sanskaras are the faculties of the soul. So if the soul power increases, then it has uh, control over the mind as well. So I was trying, I was thinking how to implement this. Then I got a methodology. I mean, a connect to my methodology. Usually what we do is to write the plan for the day. What are the tasks coming in the office? And then set a duration for it. For example, I have to write a letter. Say I, have, I, have, I will allot 15 minutes for the letter. But now in the day schedule, at what time should I write it? Like say from 10 o'clock to 10.15, I will write it. So now Baba says that control your mind to do it. So I'm just now got an inspiration that between 10 o'clock to 10.15, I should only think about writing the letter, put full stops to all the thoughts that were occurring before 10 o'clock. And then and I should stop thinking even about the letter after 10.15 and start the, the thinking process for the next task from 10, 15 onwards. So I am understanding, I think I should be able to work this way out. Thank yes, you. Sister. Definitely. Uh, very, nice. On. very nice, brother. Very nicely said. Because uh, we all make the schedule of the physical work. But here, Baba is emphasizing that we should have to make schedule of the mind that how much time what should uh, what i want to make thoughts in that way only my mind should go so that as i told baba is a supreme psychologist so for baba uh, for uh, that's why baba is making us very capable and very powerful that baba is saying that i am the master of the mind right so along to make a uh, while we making the schedule of the physical work along with that we have to pay on the attention on the subject that uh, we should have to make the schedule of the our mind. Yeah. Anybody else want to share the point or any experience related to Murli? As today Baba emphasized the aspect of Murli, that how much Murli is important and how through the Murli attending and uh, listening Murli, we shows love towards how much I'm having love to Baba. So anybody want to share any experience? You can share. Om Shanti. My experience with Murli's goes back in 2013 uh, when I first did Raj Yoga. And after that, I was somebody who was very albel. I had never gone to center until 2017 to listen to Murli's regularly. And I never used to understand Murli in the initial stage, but somehow every day uh, in the initial six months, I had been listening to the Murli 
and then it had been on an average four days in a week to listen to the Murli. My experience had been that during those days, all those corporate challenges that used to come in, especially dealing with uh, different thought processes of uh, top management, it used to be very easy to bring those points and then manage whatever was showing up in circumstances. So yeah, Murli, though initially I was not able to understand, but I used to love listening to Murli and that had supported me in uh, doing my daily task, Om Shanti. So we will reflect the homework. Also Baba has given us homework that we should have to get mastery on the mind. And also Baba said that uh, while doing karma, you keep awareness that I am instrument. Baba is the Karavan heart, current Karavan heart. And uh, also uh, Baba said that uh, we should not miss Murli at a single day. Baba spoke this Murli on those days that time. Might be it was a little bit uh, difficult to attend Murli at every, uh, every day. But for us, it's now so easy. So definitely we should not miss a single day morally, right? So we will to work on this. I hope that everyone here or who is present all are paying attention on the morally, but still we will, uh, we will do something special. Uh, if you are listening morally every day in the class, then uh, through this morally, uh, you start to churning. You make fixed time and you start to churning on the morally. So that will help you. So uh, Rakhiba, now we will have yoga for a few minutes. Yes, Rakhiba. So now we will remember for a few minutes, Papa. Amiben, shall you share the music? Yeah. Yes.
ओम शांति थैंक यू ओम शांति ओम शांति प्रतिभा बहन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द मुरली Thank you all of you and see you tomorrow at 5:30 a.m. Have a beautiful day. Om shanti.